Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll see the uh, necessity of having a health insurance, that too, that one which covers your personal accident, that includes your personal accident cover. So normally, uh, regular health insurance policies covers hospitalization due to an accident or if you're uh, physically uh, ill or if you got like a fever or like running up temperature or any other health uh, injuries, but it does not cover any of your disabilities or if you get into a fracture, or if you happen to have an income loss kind of situations. So the personal accident would cover, would like they would offer you a, a lump sum amount or something. And uh, that lump sum amount is based upon the insured family. And it depends upon the uh, injuries that you sustain during an accident, whether it is happening in India or in overseas. So there are a lot of uh, traumatic accidents that happened in the recent past. All of us would have heard of the uh, giant billboard in Mumbai that uh, claimed the death of 17 people. Or if it could be uh, about uh, six people who died in a recent uh, backwaters in Pune. Or if you also happen to see about uh, the uh, um, people who have died in road accidents over 1.4 lakhs of people. So all these people are like financially like uh, crippled and their uh, uh, medical policies do not cover any of these kind of situations and scenarios. So in this video we'll see like different scenarios or like uh, the major important points that could help you uh, when uh, um, coming out of your uh, accident insurances. So there are four uh, outcomes that could possibly happen in uh, hospitalization. So uh, while hospitalization about 24 hours is covered by your health insurance, the rest is not covered unless and until you have opted for uh, your accident policy for your uh, riders and any kind of treatments like which is related to your fractures and stuff that do not require any hospitalization. So the treatment of these kind of uh, fractures at times do require a lot of uh, money involved as well. There are a lot of costs involved that as well. So some banks they do offer you some kind of a, a complimentary uh, personal accident cover along with their savings bank or some credit card provider also provides these kind of services. For example, SBI bank as well as IDFC First Bank provides you these kind of services where they give you uh, a personal accident policy as well and um, besides this policy what we need to do is like uh, when we are purchasing up an accident cover we need to make sure your financial uh, liabilities are met out even if you have uh, any kind of an issue with your uh, um, uh, incident or any kind of an accident if something happens to you you are at least covered for about eight to ten times of your annual earnings so that is something to be covered in your um, uh, accident insurance or in your health insurance policy so if at all you are looking out for uh, an insurance that would normally costing you about 50 lakhs you need to pay almost about uh, 12,000 rupees per annum so that's the normal uh, thing which comes in an accident cover but uh, do remember that this money what you're paying like 12,000 or if it is going to be for a one year cover one crore cover then it's going to be roughly around 25,000 rupees this money that you're spending is not uh, covered under your uh, section 80d of your tax benefit so you can't claim it along with that actually so it's not something that you could uh, avail it from your uh, income tax departments so based upon the injuries that is uh, sustained or like uh, accident the entire sum is paid by your insurance company to your nominee and it depends upon your uh, permanent disability or it's a loss of limbs or an eyesight or things like that the insurance company normally gives a partial amount of sum and they normally pay you uh, like uh, a temporary uh, uh, amount for your hospitalization for your transportation and even if you're like in claim in terms of uh, uh, your uh, death the mortal remains are normally sent home or taken care by your uh, insurance company but there are a lot of restrictions which are provided by the insurance company the sum assured normally what they give is almost restricted to just 10 times your uh, annual income say for example your annual income is like 5 lakh rupees and the uh, sum assured is not going to be like more than like 50 lakhs per annum 50 lakhs for your entire coverage. So the, this policy also has got restrictions in it. Like if you are uh, uh, involved in your self-injury, like if you happen to come across with a fight with anybody or if you happen to commit suicide or if you are involved in uh, crime or like uh, adventurous sports, say for example, bungee jumping or if you are involved in like kind of uh, some kind of sports or activity like a scuba diving kind of thing or a paragliding kind of things, those those are not our, covered in these kind of things. For instance, there was a recent uh, thing which uh, happened uh, where an intoxicated kid was driving a luxury car and uh, that was like uh, uh, heading up into a uh, death of uh, people. So that is not covered under your accidental insurance policy. That will not be taken care by people. So the same will not be covered by your uh, boat which underwent uh, a caps which got capsized in Pune. So that also is not covered under your in accidental claim because uh, that's an adventure sport and that comes automatically with risk involved. So that's all not covered by your personal accident policies. But there are uh, physical injuries that happens to accidents that are covered like you happen to 
break up your uh, bones during a car accident that is covered and if there is an act of terrorism if it happens in the country or anything that happens that is covered actually so with individual companies it differs from companies to companies so they normally give you an uh, uh, coverage depending on that so uh, terrorism is normally covered in person, uh, personal accidental policies so when you are selecting up your uh, um, personal accident policy you need to make sure that uh, you are taking up the option not like besides your base policy you need to, to uh, take the option as a income loss rider as well because that gives you a support of about one or four weeks of uh, your uh, income like without if you are without a job and uh, that covers you almost about 100 plus weeks uh, and up to like 1 lakh rupees per week they give you that much of money depending upon your pay grade and pay structure you are in and if you are like, having a home loan that also gives you a home loan rider as well do take that option as well because that helps you to take care of your home loan kind of activities so these are some of things which you need to take care of it before you take up your uh, uh, personal accident insurance policy and uh, do uh, take into consideration besides your health policy you need to take care of these kind of things as well so when you take up your policy make sure that you go through all the other add-ons whatever is available because it's very advisable to take at the initial stage of this so policy bazaar gives you a very good coverage of things you can there uh, check up a different kind of things that you need and that you don't need and kind of things and you can choose the best policy that you actually looking for and if you like this video do share it with your friends and for more such contents to get transferred to people and do leave your comments below in the comment section depending on the kind of policy that you hold and i'll see you up in the next video until then bye bye